Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is your boy, Mr. Team Guy, and today I want to talk about Dragon Ball Z. Why is it so successful? I must admit that I haven't grew up watching this series. Kids my age made fun of me because of that. I actually grew up watching Simpsons and Pro Wrestling. One thing came to mind a few years back. Why is it so popular? Why it has tremendous amount of fans who praise it as the best thing ever? So I decided to watch few seasons to understand where this love coming from. As I watched people trying to explain what is so great about it, I only heard these aspects. First and most heard reason was the fighting sequences. Well, after watching full two seasons, I could see that the fighting didn't look good enough to make the series so great. Then, there was a reason that the story was mind-blowing, but what I saw was a decent storytelling, and it looked a lot like Superman. You know, boy who has huge powers because he's not human, he was born in a different planet which got destroyed, and of course the remaining people from that planet comes to Earth to find him. I could say that the greatness to today's older Dragon Z fans comes from nostalgia. With nostalgia everything looks better, and that is true. But I want to talk how did Dragon Ball Z became so popular back in the day when it didn't give any nostalgia. How did Dragon Ball Z attract the kids to watch its overcomplicated but still somehow simple concept? And I think I understand it now. The creativity, the imagination of the creators. Yes, back in the day there was nothing like it. There was nothing like Dragon Ball Z. There was no other TV series where you can see people having power levels. There was no TV series where you can see a huge godlike dragon who can grant you any wish, and I mean any wish when you gather all seven Dragon Balls. This series had wonderful original worlds, colorful characters that may seem goofy at times but still very interesting design. And now, spoiler alert. Of course I think that I was the only one that didn't watch the show, but still, spoiler alert. Seeing how the main hero died and after that he walked the road of a dragon to the heavens where he met a master who trained him how to be even stronger was very interesting. Of course this series has a lot of filler, sometimes even very bad filler in my opinion. But that filler made the fights look even better because it builds up to them. That is why I think people are saying that the fighting is great in Dragon Ball Z. And now, the storytelling with all that creativity, with all that build up to the fight scenes become more interesting. Gohan overcoming his fears was pretty interesting to watch. Not great of course, but the series that old, let's give it some credit. It wasn't created now. And think, TV series where any character can die. That is some Game of Thrones shit, am I right? What took me by surprise was Piccolo. As a guy who loves villains in movies, I could see that Piccolo was the best character for me. Okay, now listen to me. I'm a pro wrestling fan and I could even say a huge one. And for being a fan of pro wrestling, I know how great it is when a villain turns good but still stays with his villain attitude. So people fighting all over the place, trying to up their power levels, trying to gather 7 Dragon Balls to give them the scary ass god so he could grant them any wish, while also visiting all kinds of wonderful worlds, universes and even beyond. That is what attracts the kids who are still loyal to this franchise. That is what makes any anime great, the creativity. And of course there are animes that have awesome creativity and very good storytelling like Avatar. Anime culture is still growing trying new things while not changing its roots. Storytelling is getting much better, the designs are even cooler, and the imagination is limitless. That is all I wanted to say, Dragon Ball even without any nostalgia can be interesting to watch. But that is my opinion. And now, tell me, what do you think? What makes a great anime? And why you think Dragon Ball Z is so successful? Let's start this discussion. I wanna know, maybe there's something I am missing. I will gladly read your opinions. And let's not forget, every opinion can change, because it's just an opinion. This was Mr. Team Guy, with discussion about Dragon Ball Z success. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.